Yeah, and what I specifically remember is um, um, that it was shared with us that they come out at sunrise every day. Right. Um, and that that makes them, uh, and they go in at dusk every night, and that's what makes them um, more easily caught for this process. So we'd bring right. the birds in, put them in their cavities, mm -hmm. and then release them at sunrise. Yeah, I guess they're as predictable as us going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Just a nine to five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, so but that's what I was thinking about too. Uh, are we capturing these birds with partners, or are these birds raised and 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 donated or sold, or how does that work? How do we how do we acquire those birds? So we we figure that out through the group that I was speaking about, and um, yeah, people say how many birds they have to donate, and then they'll go oh. into a pool, and and you know we we hope to get you know ten to twenty birds at some point, and so the more that you do, the better success that you're going to have, and so. Okay. Will they come in in those family in that clan? Will we get a clan at a time? Well, you usually get a female and some males, and they'll come individually. Okay. And they're all packaged in their their boxes, and and we'll have to drive them all back and, and release them. But wow, yeah. it's so cool. It kind of reminds That's me of some of the other work that we've done, inter reintroducing elk and and, yeah. and largemouth bass or the Florida largemouth or whatever, and. And having to truck them in and go get them and truck them in, yeah, cool. Yeah, so we're we're still learning how to do all this, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a steep learning curve. But we're really excited about it and and looking forward to it. Yeah.